Gentlemen, welcome back to the Tej Hanley starting a business, building a brand vlog. This one, big number 58. All right. <laughs> So last week, uh, we introduced the chemist to you guys via this weird, in retrospect, probably, it was just weird. All right, so in theory, it was a great idea. We were like, hey, you know, let's bring the chemist. He's here. Why don't we just put him in the video and have him, you know, be there. But it just kind of was a little bit awkward. Um, what made it more awkward was that he wasn't talking and it was watching it was a little bit weird. If you missed that video, it was listed a link down in the description, but boy, did that cause some, some just uh, people like freaked out a little bit over him and totally made some crazy leaps and assumptions that are absolutely not accurate. And so I would like to start this vlog with reading a question, actually reading the statement that was made underneath the last video. I thought about deleting this comment just because it was so ridiculous, uh, but I didn't because I learned my lesson the hard way. It's better not to do that. And so <laughs> apparently on this vlog, on other stuff that I do, not so much. Anyway, it goes on to say, so Aaron and the chemists are using backdoor tactics. The guy works for a major company and giving their trade secrets to Aaron so he can cash in no matter how, like this is like, like, <laughs> this goes on to say how, I mean, no matter how you turn it or twist it, the chemist is breaking the law. <laughs> you have absolutely no idea what you're talking about and 1000% wrong, but we'll get to that in a second. How can a company that 100% wants to be legit use a legal means to obtain it? What are you even talking about? You watch too many movies and TV. That's my assumption. Don't say it's the chemist's choice. I didn't. Well, it is, but you have no idea what the chemist even freaking does in the skincare industry, which we'll talk about in a second. Um, if he wasn't doing anything bad, he wouldn't hide his face. Not true. Uh, so you don't own the products. You just you don't own the products. You just stole it from some other company and stuck your name on it. You haven't created anything. You basically took Coca-Cola bottle and stuck your label on it. My God, you are a skeptical person and you are 1000% wrong with every assumption that you made. First things first, the T. Hanley products are 1000% ours. They are unique formulas to us and the chemist did absolutely nothing wrong. There is absolutely nothing that he did wrong. The other thing that is wrong about your comment and statement is that you're assuming that he makes products for the other company. We said that he is in the skincare industry and he works for a very popular company within the skincare industry. We never said exactly what he does, which you obviously are mistaken about. He did not take some other formula and put his label on it, but he does want to maintain anonymity. When this whole process started, the chemist and Rob are good friends, really, really good friends. And so there is that connection. When it started, he said, you know, I definitely want to be involved, but I want to maintain anonymity because his role, his responsibility in the company he works for is a major player and is very visible in the industry and works with other really big people in the skincare industry. And he just didn't want to basically be out there and have his face and his name and, and his formulas out there for any potential. I, it, it's, it has absolutely nothing to do with being illegal. We checked with our lawyers. He checked with his lawyers. We checked with all sorts of, there is absolutely nothing wrong with what we did. He is 100% above board, probably one of the most honest and ethical guys you'll ever meet. And he just wanted to be anonymous. He wanted to be in this business, but there are some people that are in businesses lesson of the day that are silent partners. They don't want to have their name plastered everywhere. Um, then we sort of took the anonymity ball and ran with it. And so we were having fun with it. It was strictly for us just to basically say, because there are some people that are so skeptical, like there is no chemist. Yeah, there really is a chemist. Um, and so we thought this would be a fun, playful way to sort of introduce you to say, hey, there's really a chemist. But apparently some people took us dressing him like <laughs> we did as a, <laughs> it's just a nightmare. 
<laughs> Our products are ours. They are amazing. And the chemist did an incredible job. And it was really great having him here in Atlanta. Um, after the, uh, the meeting um, and the video, we actually went to dinner to this steakhouse that was fantastic. If you're ever in the Atlanta area and you like steak, you like steakhouse, and you know that you're going to spend a little bit of money because it's not cheap, we went to the steakhouse called Bones that is rated pretty high up there nationally in terms of steakhouses. But something really cool happened. Um, and okay, so what happened was sit, we're, we're sitting around this table and the waiter comes over and puts bread down on the table. And I look at his wrist because I'm a watch guy and I go, hey, nice watch. He goes, oh, thanks. Then the person comes over to fill up the, the, uh, the water glasses. And I'm like, wow, nice watch. Come to find out that every single employee of Bones for their 10 year anniversary gets a Rolex. Um, so I got into this discussion with, one, with our waiter about sort of the company and how amazing they are to work for and how they take care of their employees, 401k, profit sharing. And it was just such a refreshing, now Bones has been there at that location since like the 1970s. It's a, it's a very, it's an Atlanta you know, staple. Um, but it was so refreshing and amazing to sort of hear about a company that really just, just takes care of its employees and values its employees. Because in today's world with outsourcing and, and sort of like, what have you done for me lately? It, it, we've lost, I think that, that, that relationship and just, I don't know, the, the values that we used to have or companies used to have in the, the old days, the good old days of business. And so for that reason, and one other than their food is fantastic, I just, I like supporting that. And um, it was great to see, and, and there are people that have been there like 20, 30 years, like crazy. Um, everybody gets a Rolex, from the dishwashers to the waiters to upper management, they all get to pick. And um, they're, they're just a, a great, another cool thing, this, um, the same people that own Bones own two other restaurants. One is called the OK Cafe and another one is called the Blue Ridge Grill. Well, the OK Cafe burnt down. There was a fire and it burnt. Well, one of the things that I thought about was, oh man, it was out of business for months while they renovated. What did all the wait staff, what did all the cooks, what did all the people do? Come to find out this company, the same owners, they paid each employee that worked at the OK Cafe a salary so they could survive while they rebuilt. And that to me, once again, is just another just unbelievable thing. It was just so great. And so if you're ever in Atlanta, you want to support a good company and have some great food, bring your wallet. <laughs> but Bones, OK Cafe, Blue Ridge Grill, they're great. And before I move on, to the next issue we had with that lead. This vlog apparently is all about Lael's vlog and defending ourselves. Um, one more thing, just, you know, I, I, I get upset and it, it really sort of bothered me that comment about the chemist and us because it really just, it questioned our values, our ethics and the way that we do things. And I've been involved with quite a few people, quite a few businesses and I, can't say that any have been more above board ethical and the people more fantastic than Tiege Hanley. And so, you know, to question that was like, you called my mother a name. And, and so, you know, it, 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 uh, it, it's, it's going to need to be defended. And so I apologize if I got a little too upset, but it was unacceptable and it's still unacceptable. Um, we are 100% doing everything legally above board. There is zero conflict between the chemist. Did we play up his, yes, we played up the anonymous part and that is a lesson for us apparently. The next thing that I would like to address is somebody else got pretty upset because we used the word vegan just the, we were the word vegan. Oh, no, I gotta calm down before I piss more people off. Vegan. We said the word. We have the word vegan on our website in the Q and A's. That if you go to the homepage, go down. It'll say vegan, or it has like 
you know, what's in your products? Actually, let me tell you. It says animal cruelty, question mark, vegan, question mark, ingredient list, question mark. If you expand it, it says Tiege Hanley products are not tested on animals, only human animals. Um, ingredients are a mixture of natural, vegetable derived, and synthetic raw materials. For all ingredients, you can start here um, and then note that all products listed in the level boxes link to more information on those specific products. So basically saying that we use a mix of natural products, synthetic products, and vegetable um, based products. We don't claim to be vegan. We're not vegan, apparently, um, because uh, somebody who is vegan is very upset that we use the word vegan. Just the fact that we had vegan question mark was something that was very upsetting to him because we are not. Apparently, the fact that we use beeswax in one of our ingredients in, in the eye cream, we use beeswax or beeswax is, the, is where we derive one of the ingredients from. And, and so since beeswax is derived from an animal, it, not, it, cannot, be, can, uh, it cannot be claimed to be vegan. Um, and so apparently in the world of marketing, a lot of companies are using vegan improperly. And so the fact that we had the word vegan, vegans would see that and think that they were vegan. And so he wanted us to remove the word vegan, which we are not doing, uh, because it's not, people ask. And so if we remove that, I mean, it, it's up to you. go look, we, we list all of our ingredients. Um, I don't think anything would really suffice other than us either removing the word, which we're not removing because people ask, um, or saying big non-vegan, non-vegan or whatever it is. Um, on, and, and here, <laughs> um, I, okay. Um, and so our products aren't vegan. <laughs> um, and so our friend wanted us to remove the word vegan question mark from our website because that gives the wrong impression, which after reading everything, looking at it, um, our team had a meeting, talked to the chemist, Rob Kelly, myself, and we decided, no, we're not claiming to be vegan. It's, you know, people ask. And if we take that off the website, people are going to just send us a ton of emails not a ton. There are a few people that are um, concerned about that. Uh, not a few. I'm not trying to negate the fact that there are lots and tons and zillions of vegans. Um, but it's something that people ask. And so we put it on there. Um, as far as we have all our ingredients. If you're worried about a specific ingredient, if you're a vegan, I'm assuming you're pretty educated on things. And so you're free to check it out and decide for yourself that it's not something that, that you want to. Because here's the thing with like vegetarians, like there are all different types of vegetarians, right? There are some vegetarians that will, you know, eat eggs only or fish only, or like my mom, she's been a vegetarian for over 40 years and she's an ovo-lacto-vegetarian. She'll eat eggs and milk, which are derived from animals, but she doesn't eat meat or she doesn't. So there are different, different and varying degrees of you know, of vegetarianism, and I'm probably assuming that some vegans will still use products like something that has a beeswax. So let them decide. Funny, funny, I, I never actually told you this. Um, some of our products are synthetic or have synthetic ingredients in there. And when we we're talking to our chemist originally and developing our formulas, we say, what are the chances that we can make these 100% natural? And he said, well, basically we could do that, but you've got a decision to make. And we all were like, well, what's that? He goes, do you want them to be all natural or do you want them to work? And we said, we want them to work. He goes, so what we're going to do is use as many natural botanicals and ingredients as possible, but we are going to have some of the synthetics involved and infused in the products so that they're the best products that they can possibly be. I can assure you that we don't have a bunch of extra crap or anything like that, but they work. That being said, if you want natural products, 100% vegan, there's a company out of the UK called Bulldogs that sells them. So you might want to go check them out and support them. Um, other than that, guys, 
I kind of had a headache today. <laughs> yeah. It's been it, uh, it's been a really long year, um, and uh, it's been a great year. I think next vlog is actually going to be the final vlog for the year. It's going to be airing on New Year's Day or New Year's Eve day, the thirty first. And so I thought that would be a perfect opportunity to sort of talk about 2017 a little bit more in depth and um, sort of our goals, our plans. And we made reference to the idea that there's different ways that you can grow and run a business, whether or not you're going to be this type of business or this type of business. And we didn't really elaborate or Kelly didn't really elaborate in the last vlog. And so I would like to talk a little bit about the difference between a lifestyle business and the type of business like Dollar Shave Club where they just were all about customer acquisition, grow, 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 exit, sell for millions and millions and millions and millions of dollars. And so I want to talk a little bit about that because it's A, important and B, interesting and something that we as a company sort of need to decide and, and talk about which we did. Um, and so I don't know that we came to a 100% definitive um, answer, but we definitely can talk about it next time. If you guys have any questions regarding Tiege Hanley or business in general, please down in the comments, I'm always scanning them. I do my best to get to as many as possible, um, but uh, we'll definitely get to more next week. Um, this one, I'm sorry, was all about sort of responding and rebutting last vlog which was weird and awkward because the chemist was dressed in disguise won't be doing that again gentlemen you rock so hard it's ridiculous we love you thank you for everything it's been an amazing year and you've been around for the entire thing so um thank you so much for everything and i'll see you next week